Mayor Eric Adams is denying a woman's claim that he sexually assaulted her 30 years ago. The claim stems from a lawsuit filed last night. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us now with those details. And Tim, what does the suit say? Well, Ali, a woman says that Mayor Eric Adams sexually assaulted her in 1993 when he was with the NYPD. Usually that would be past the statute of limitations and too long ago to sue. But the Adult Survivors Act suspended that time limit for a year-long period that expires tonight at midnight. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Mayor Adams planned to spend his morning serving pies and talking about Thanksgiving. Instead, he also found himself fielding questions on a far different topic. The accusation absolutely did not happen. I don't even recall uh, who this person is. I, I've, I've never recalled even meeting them. And, you know, I spent my life protecting people. In the lawsuit, a woman claims Adam sexually assaulted her in 1993 when they both worked for the city of New York, and she's seeking at least $5 million. The suit does not provide specific details on the allegations. It says the claims brought here allege intentional and negligent acts and omissions for physical, psychological, and other injuries suffered as a result of conduct that would constitute sexual offenses. It is one of three Adult Survivors Act lawsuits filed this week by New York City-based attorney Megan Goddard. But this absolutely never happened, and, you know, it's just unfortunate. And CBS2 does not name people who claim to be sexual abuse victims unless they choose to publicly, publicly, I should say, identify themselves. The lawsuit is not just against Adams, but also against the NYPD Transit Bureau and the NYPD Guardians Association. We reached out to them, along with the attorney who filed the suit and the accuser. We have not heard back. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.